appreciate you joining us here tonight, Cora. First, happy birthday. Thank uh, you. <laughs> did you get a chance to celebrate yet? Um, not today, but my family celebrated with me yesterday. Okay. Anything fun? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> 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 they brought me an ice cream cake. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was from Dairy Queen. Oh, those are always good. Yeah. Those are always good. Absolutely. So I know a tough one here tonight. Uh, I was just kind of talking about their serve. Their serve, I thought, gave you the girls a little bit of trouble tonight. How did you feel like you girls played in serve receive tonight? Um, I feel like when Bryn Bass was up to serve, everybody just kind of was like frozen. Yeah. Everybody knew she was a good server. And so then when they saw the serve coming at them, they kind of just like froze for a second but I think I think after a while we adjusted better than what we did in the first game had a chance there in that third set what do you think was different for you and the girls in that third set that gave you a chance to kind of win that one I think it was the momentum I think we knew we had to win we had to do good if we wanted to play again and that's what Shirky kept telling us he was like if you girls want to play another set you have to win you have to do your best you have to do good and I think that just kind of like pushed everybody a little harder. How tough was it they got off to quick starts in those first two sets? How tough was it? You battled back in both of them, then kind of that second one got away from you, but how tough was it to kind of battle through those slow starts tonight? Um, it was it was pretty tough. They're a good scrappy team, and so you really got to find the holes if you want to get something good down on them. Where were you looking for the holes? Where, where did you feel right like in you, the middle. Right, right in the middle? Right in the middle and the very corners. Okay, now I talked to you a little bit on Saturday about staying aggressive. Did yep. you feel like you were able to do that here tonight? Um, I felt like I was more aggressive tonight than I probably was on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about the donut being open when you were swinging, where were you hitting for on the swings tonight? Um, usually I they teach us to like go around the box, you know, but I think tonight I was just kind of trying to go right over top of them because they weren't, they weren't back there. Talk about blocking. It's something that you typically do very well. Mm -hmm. How did you feel like you and the girls played? You're a little undersized at the net. Yeah. Right? How did you feel like you played at the net tonight well, defensively? Well, Coon's a very tall team, so mm -hmm. then when you stand up to the next, you kind of feel timid next to them. They're like, they just, I don't know. But I think after we realized that they roundhouse a lot and we got to just time it better, then I think it started, like, getting the hang of it conference tournament now coming up Saturday. You were just down at the Caminita tournament last weekend. You got to go back down there yeah. now for the conference tournament. Did it help maybe playing down there last weekend to get kind of a comfort with everything? And, and what's the game plan? What's the thought process going into the tournament Saturday? Um, yeah, I think, well, we actually played down there last Tuesday. So then I think being again there Saturday, then I think we're more comfortable and I think we'll be even more comfortable when we go down there this weekend. But I think no matter who we get, um, paired up with I think we're just trying to go and just try and get them well, I tell you what appreciate you joining us thank you happy birthday again thank you. And, and, and go have some more of that ice cream cake okay all right Cora Obrecht had joining us I think we've got either coach Shirky or Bryn Bass and I think we're going to get Bryn to join us over here and we'll get uh, Bryn Bass uh, from the Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders and we'll have her come over here and join us here in the post game tonight and Bryn, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Cora Obrecht just gave you a great compliment. You probably didn't hear it. No, nope, I she, did not. She, she said that when you were back at the service line, especially early, they knew you were a good server. So uh, you served really well thank here you, tonight. Thank you. Uh, talk about that serving. What were you trying to do with your serve tonight? And why was it so effective? Um, I think coming in, we knew that we had to use as much as we could advantage with their back row because that's where they lacked, but they had strong hitters. So we had to take advantage while we were at the serving line and attacking. So I was really trying to be more aggressive and hit their weak spots on the field or court. What makes your serve so strong and so good, do you think? Uh, try to do a low toss so I can get super low with my top spin and drop the ball as short as I can. So I was just trying to do that all night. Hitting at the net, you ended up with four kills uh, tonight, but didn't have a ton early on, but you were doing so many other things well. Talk about your overall game here tonight. I think I started slow. My attacking wasn't as well as I thought it was going to be tonight, but I think I picked it up towards the end and tried to see their open spots and switch up my swing a little bit. You're one of those players, though. It isn't about the numbers. You were just happy to get those leads yep. and get that win tonight. Yep. What's this win mean for this team heading into the conference tournament Saturday? I think we definitely need this win. I think it's going to get our confidence back up and get us back in the groove. We are on a little dry run, so I think this is going to be a good way to prepare us for Saturday. Had to play without Maya last night. How yep. much did that help maybe getting comfortable with the new set, the new rotation, and, and players in different positions tonight? 
Last night was definitely a learning night for all of us, but I think we adjusted well. We learned what the kinks were in our rotation yesterday, and we worked through this tonight and came out and got a good win. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Thank you. Nice performance. Thank Thanks you. for coming up and joining us, Bryn Bass. We're going to get our Weaver head coach, Darren Shirky. He's, he's giving me that look, but we're going to get him up here into the post game for just a moment and, and, and get his thoughts here tonight. And Darren, I know you were trying to get on the bus and get going tonight. The girls are all probably out there going, where's coach? And hopefully they don't leave you. If they do, we'll get you a ride home. Well, we'll, we'll find a way. Bus driver? You know, I, I was trying to find a way out of this. So, <laughs> Darren, I, I know probably a disappointing one here tonight. I, I thought sets one and three, you played pretty well. Set two, you had a run in there, but it kind of slipped away from you. Um, I, I talked with, uh, of course, uh, Cora here tonight. Serve receive was a little bit of a trouble uh, tonight. What did you see, and how did you guys try to adjust? You know, uh, they were they were hitting a lot of of you know sharp sharp down balls um, on their serve, and then when we did make adjustments, they were hitting good spots. So you know, we just have to be able to move our feet and and get ourselves in position to make plays. And when we start doing that, you know, and and we start getting good passes on serve receive, when we attack. Teams don't ta attack back against us, and, and that's the thing. And, and they understand that because we've preached it all year long. Right. The problem is we don't do it consistent enough. So, so that, that, that really kind of hurts us a little bit when, when, we, when we don't get a good pass on serve receive. What stood out for you about the way you swung tonight with really with Cora, Maggie, and Jamie Houseman all had nice nights at the net? Yeah, I mean, it, when, when we're able to do that, they, um, you know, they hit hit well and and we're able to get um you know good good balls on the net for them and you know when when they can attack um consistently it's it makes a good a good situation for us and uh unfortunately we have to do that on a more consistent basis and and when we start doing that it's they, they are fun to watch so uh when when we do that Talked to you already about their serve. You guys ended up, I had you unofficially with 10 aces tonight as well. So I thought you guys, it was either kind of hit and miss. You either had a really good serve or you, you hit them long uh, yeah. several times tonight. But what did you see from serve? And when it was effective, what was good about it? You know, when, when, we're, when we're effective, we're hitting spots. We're hitting, we're, we're making their defense move. And, you know, and, and we have to, we're, we've been preaching that, um, especially the last half of the year. Uh, we when we try to hit too hard, we tend to hit deep or we, we hit too soft and we hit into the net. Um, just, just finding that consistency and, and finding, uh, figuring out, you know, getting it, getting it in first and forcing them to move is, is a big part of our, our serving. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, we're missing too many yep. at times. Rolling Valley Conference Tournament now coming up on Saturday. Um, I think you guys have the ability to compete with anybody oh, that's yeah. going to be down there. Um, what do you got to do? You got a few days to work with the girls. What do you work on yeah, to get them ready? We're we're, we're gonna we're gonna go back and watch some film and and figure out who who we're playing first of all. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm assuming it's going to be one of the top three that haven't lost yet. So either Woodbine, uh, Cam, or Booyer Valley. I'm assuming it's going to maybe be Woodbine, but I, you know I don't know for sure. Um, we'll, we'll have to look at how many sets each one of them lost and then, you know, that, uh, you know, whoever it is, we, we have to come ready to compete, uh, because, you know, they're going to be at the top of the, the conference and, you know, we're, we're in the boat, bottom half and, and we have to want to, to do the little things. And, you know, they, there's times where we show spurts where yep. we really compete well with, with other teams. You know, it, it's just, we just can't dig those holes. And, and when we dig those, those holes, we struggle getting back out of them. We, we, we fight to do that, but, you know, we, we just don't get out of it, um, you know, early enough. Well, Coach, as always, good to see you. Appreciate you coming up joining us. Hey, thanks, Jeff. You bet. Head Coach Darren Shirky again with the Arweva Rockets. Uh, we've got Head Coach Marissa Dembinski now with the uh, Coon Rapids Baird Crusaders uh, finishing up one interview and working one her minute. way over into the post-game area here. And again, we're on the uh, Mackie Motors uh, post-game show. And, Marissa, congratulations. Nice win. I said to Bryn, night number two of the new lineup the new rotation it looked like they were starting to get a little bit comfortable with it tonight that's got to make you happy with conference tournament coming up this weekend yes and this is actually another new rotation so <laughs> um yeah we're just trying to figure out what clicks i mean 
Maya Lady was such a, a huge um, yep. part of our, our lineup. So filling her role, um, we we did our best today, and I, I think it was it was enough, obviously. Well, I thought Emma Jurgens and also Jessica Evans stepped in tonight yes. at the net and both made up probably for the loss of Maya. I thought both of them swung really well. Yes, um, and they swing hard in practice. Yep. Um, yeah, it's they both they both came out really strong, and that's exactly what we needed. So, if we can keep up that consistency and have almost all of our hitters on, or majority of our hitters on, I think we'll be good. I talked about your serving. I think with everybody else that I've <laughs> interviewed so far tonight, the serving was good. Yeah. I thought it was the difference. It kept them out of you know kind of out of system most yeah. of the night, even if you weren't getting aces all the time. What were you trying to attack? Where did you feel like the weaknesses were tonight? Um, corners, I would say. Um, I was really hitting the, the one position, the five position, and the deep corners. Um, some of us, some of our serves kind of were, we would go hard, hard, and then we would pop one and be short. So I think that was, uh, our girls kind of like knew. Yep. They knew um, like, oh, they're on their heels. You can see them back. And so they would pop one short even though that's not exactly what I called. <laughs> but um, yeah, so corners for sure is what I was calling and they were kind of mixing in their own. Serve, receive, uh, not perfect tonight, no. but better I think than it was yeah. early in the season and it kept you in system yep. enough to allow you to get swings tonight. Talk about the growth you've seen on that serve, receive as the year's gone on. Yeah, we've really worked on our platforms, um, passing platforms just in general. Yep. Um, we have noticed uh, throughout the season that we, we break our platform a lot or we swing a lot and we're not necessarily um, um, keeping a, a still platform and we're, we're doing too much with our platform. Yep. Um, so that's something that we've been really hammering this the second half of the season and it's it's starting to click for some of us and so you can you can kind of tell with some of our passes. And I think our setters are doing a really good job of mm -hmm. if the if the if the pass is not quite perfect, they're doing a better job getting there. Yep. Um, I think we're, we've grown together very well. Um, and, f and I think that is that is the difference between the beginning of the season and now is that we grew together and we, we understand our passes and we understand um, our setters and our hitters. And I think it's coming along nicely. Coach, you kind of pulled away there in the second set to get up two to nothing. You won that one 25-11, but you start out set three. First time you trailed uh, <laughs> since early in set number one. Uh, finally grabbed that lead for good at 15-14. What flip do you think that third set? Because you kind of pulled away there late in that third set. Uh, well, I, I called the timeout and just we sometimes take ourselves too seriously. Like we need to have more fun out there. We we perform better. Anyone who's coming to watch us play, if we're having fun, if we're loud, energetic, we play better. And I think towards that, we are taking ourselves too seriously. So I sometimes have to call and tell them like, hey, have fun. It's, it is about business, but it's not all business. We need to take a deep breath, have some fun, relax. Um, and we just needed one person to come uh, step up and take charge so we could all rally around that person. And that's what we do. I think that's when we play our best is when we have one person. Like tonight was Bren yep. with six or seven aces. Um, when, sh when we have one person do really well, our, we rally around them really well. And so um, I think that was kind of helped us in the third set as we stopped we stopped taking ourselves so seriously and started having some more fun. Rolling Valley Conference Tournament coming up Saturday down at CAM. Uh, you guys are talented enough to beat anybody <laughs> down there. What's the plan? What do you need to do to have that kind of success? Well, we need to drive together. We need to we need to get together and like I said we've grown together but obviously we've we have we've had some growing pains and um, and obviously with new rotations, we're going <laughs> to practice at the end of this week is going to be hammering new rotations, kind of ironing out some things and um, and just making sure that our energy is on the same level. I think that's been our biggest thing this year. I mean, we are, we're so, we are so talented and right. I mean, our record obviously doesn't reflect that, um, but it's it's our our energy sometimes is just so roller coaster. Sometimes it's dead. Sometimes it's so electric in here so just finding that that's what we've been working on all season is finding that consistent energy level and then if other teams get on a run how do we end that what is our what is our go-to um to end a, a run so well coach congratulations on a nice win here tonight appreciate you coming up and joining us we'll see you saturday down at anita yep.